Hey gang, it's Clayton Sandell here at ABC News. Uh, we are here at the Denver Zoo. We have great weather today uh, for a very special day. This is, somebody is having a birthday and I'm gonna actually step out of the way and let Connor see if you can find who is having this birthday. For you loyal viewers out there, and first of all, thanks again for uh, clicking on us today. Um, you may remember back in May, we introduced you uh, to Dobby, uh, who was born here at the Denver Zoo. Uh, and this birthday was one that the keepers here maybe weren't quite sure was actually going to happen because Dobby was born very underweight. He was small uh, and, and had some health problems uh, in the beginning. But here we are today. It's his first birthday. And I'm joined by Amanda Faliano, who is uh, one of Dobby's keepers here at the Denver Zoo. Thanks for joining us. Thank you for coming. So he is, uh, when he was born, he was pretty small. How small was he? He was 73 pounds and 5 feet tall. And that is small for a giraffe, even for a giraffe. It is small. So typically a male giraffe would weigh about 160 pounds and be at least six feet tall. So half the weight and about a foot too short. And he seems to be doing pretty well today. How, how much has he grown? Huge. So uh, about two weeks ago, he was 10% or sorry, 10 times the weight he was at birth. So um, as of yesterday, because today we didn't have a chance to weigh him, yeah. he weighed 757 pounds and is nine foot six. So that's pretty good considering where he started. Now take us back to the beginning because you guys were not sure how he was going to do. He had some serious health issues. Yeah, he, he actually gave us a little scare just because that's what keepers do. Um, he was born, his birth was very easy going for mom. He had a little bit of problems standing up. Uh, we just think that was because he was underweight and thin and it was hard for him to get up. Mm -hmm. Once we finally got him to be able to stand and do so on his own easily, he was trying to nurse but was not able to nurse. So we had to assist rear him for a short time and we did have to supplement feed him. We did that about noon after he was born, so about eight hours after birth, and then two hours later you had five crying zookeepers because he started nursing on his own. Um, unfortunately, that still wasn't enough. He didn't get the antibodies from mom that we were hoping he'd get, so about a day and a half after that and testing him every day, we had to do plasma transfusion. Um, thanks to our partners down at Cheyenne Mountain Zoo, they had plasma banked and we got it into him. And after a few days of the plasma being able to take hold, he became healthier and continues to be healthy to today. And the other thing about Dobby is he was a surprise baby. He was a surprise baby. He, uh, his mom's on birth control and we knew they had bred, but we thought that was a part of the process. And you know, that 1% chance just happened to pop up with him. And we kind of say he's the best mistake ever because we love having him here. And what's his personality like in this last year? He is very rambunctious. Um, he started off very um, social with us because we were hands on him a lot. Yeah. Uh, we did back that off because we don't want him to be imprinted on us. We want him to be a giraffe and stay with his family. Right. So we have backed off. You don't see us interacting with him as much, but he has officially started training. And in order to do that, we do it all what we call protected contact. So right. we don't go in with him a ton. We don't do a ton of stuff with him, but he still greets us every morning. He follows me out every night to the gate. Um, he's still very friendly. He loves seeing people. If you come to the zoo, you'll see him checking everybody out. He's very interested in everything everybody is doing. Uh, speaking of people, Connor, if you can pan to the right here, you can see how many people have gathered uh, to see Dobby today because there's uh, not only is it his birthday, but you have cake. And I got to tell you, people in our office were dying to know what <laughs> kind of a cake do you give a giraffe? Um, not the kind of cake you want to eat. <laughs> Uh, so we mixed up some alfalfa pellets, which is just alfalfa in pellet form, uh -huh. with his normal grain that he gets on a daily basis. When you soak them, it kind of makes a powdery mush. Mm -hmm. We mixed it with banana to make it sticky, mm -hmm. and then we coated it in some fruit-flavored pellets that he really likes. So that's his frosting, and then some apple and carrot chunks around it. Okay, and you're going to bring that out here in just a minute. I know we got to let you go, but uh, I know you guys do a lot of conservation efforts here at the zoo as well. Can you give us just a sense of how giraffes are doing in the wild? I can. So unfortunately, their numbers have decreased by about 30% in the wild, um, which is really devastating. Um, if the trend continues, we won't have very many giraffes left out there. Uh -huh. So we call our giraffes an ambassador animal so that you can come see them, get to love them, and then want to help with the conservation efforts out and around everywhere else. So we do have a lot of different ways to help out, whether it's here at Denver Zoo or internationally. Um, you can go on Denver Zoo's website, and we have ways to help with that. Okay, we're going to let you go because I know you need to get the cake out there, which we're going to see here in a second. Amanda Faliano, 
Thank you for joining us. We really Thank appreciate you. it. And we'll look forward to seeing this. So, uh, all right, we'll kind of take a look around here. You can see just uh, hundreds of people have gathered here today. There's Dobby in the back walking around, and there are actually five, uh, yeah, five giraffes that are here uh, at the Denver Zoo. Um, Dobby's mother, uh, as you heard Amanda tell us, is named Capelli. She was actually born here at the Denver Zoo in August of 1993. She's the oldest uh, of the Denver Zoo's uh, giraffes. Um, and they have had giraffes here for about, uh, uh, since about 1973, actually. So about the last 44, 45 years almost. Uh, and that they've had over the years, not just Dobby, but actually 70 giraffes born and raised here at the Denver Zoo. So they are going to go get this cake, which you heard Amanda tell us is this mm, really tasty sounding mashup of uh, alfalfa pellets and fruit and some other things that, uh, that he's gonna like. And uh, it will be his birthday. Let's take a walk down here for a second. Let's see just how many people showed up here today. This is awesome. Yeah. I think he senses something is going on. He's coming over here to the corner. I think they're going to bring it out right in front here in the corner. We'll take a look here. Hi there. How are you? Are you are you looking forward to seeing Dobby? Yeah. Yeah. Did you see him over there? Yeah. Look, he's getting really close to you there. Oh yeah. Are you excited? <laughs> yes, absolutely. Oh, there he is. So he's just, he knew the camera was here today. Connor, he's uh, posing for you. That's excellent. So again, Dobby, think about it. When he was born, he was five feet tall. He weighed 73 pounds. And today he is up to nine feet, five inches tall. And uh, it's his birthday. <laughs> It looks like they're about to bring out the cake here any minute. And again, Dobby was a surprise to the keepers here at the Denver Zoo. Uh, they did not know until pretty close to his birth that his mother was even pregnant. Uh, they, the only reason they knew, she was actually on birth control at the time, the only reason they knew is that her belly started to get bigger and they had to convince her to come in uh, for an exam so that she could get an ultrasound. Took some convincing to get her to do that. And, uh, and they discovered that indeed she was pregnant. Now normally giraffes have about a 15 month gestation period um, and giraffe calves will nurse with their mother for about six months and then uh, be weaned and it's during that first two years of a giraffe's life that it will double in height to about 12 feet tall. They can get up to around 17 feet tall <laughs> and uh, the adult females can get it all the way up to about 2600 pounds. The males considerably larger. They can get up to about 4,200 pounds, um, so much bigger than the females. And you can see the, the coats, the patterns of spots on these, uh, on each giraffe is like a fingerprint. Everyone is different. I think he knows that people are here for him. I've actually never seen him come over to this corner like this. This is pretty cool. He's normally back in the back. And if you're wondering, Dobby does get his name from the Harry Potter character. And I don't know if you can see it, Connor, but if you pan all the way over there, there's a little pointy sorting hat made out of paper mache and non-toxic paint, they tell me, just for Dobby and his birthday. There are uh, five giraffes here at the Denver Zoo, and they are reticulated giraffes. 
And reticulated giraffes are native to uh, sub-Saharan Africa, the dry savannas, open woodlands of sub-Saharan Africa. <laughs> and looks like they're coming out over there with the cake. <laughs> and again, the keepers here say this is not the kind of cake that uh, we would like. There you go, there's that alfalfa pellet, fruit, banana mashup. Perfect for a giraffe. Not so much for people. <laughs> Yay! Well, the others are definitely interested too. <laughs> Come to check out the other offerings. <laughs> well, there you go. Dobby's first birthday here at the Denver Zoo. And uh, hopefully many more to come. You can come see Dobby here at the Denver Zoo. We are told he is not going to be sent to another zoo. He's going to stay here with his mom and dad and his pals. There you go. Happy birthday to Dobby. Guys, thanks for tuning in. We'll check in with you next time. Take care.